the boat ramp here at Massasauga Park. There's uh, at least two of them. Garbage receptacles. And here's where we start my journey. It's going through the Blackstone channel right now. That little green thing moving. It's a beaver. Woods Bay Channel. Campsite over there. More down there. Just checking out site 305. I need to stretch the legs a little bit. Nice sandy beach. Nice little tent pad. Picnic table. Food storage bins. Nice food storage. Things just got real here. There's a bear. Got my solar charger over there to charge my camera slash phone. Uh, I borrowed some water. Trying out this uh, backpackers country pad thai meal. As you can see, you get a nice good content in there. Uh, nice tasty with some peanuts. It's actually really good tasting. And uh, all I did was boil some water and put a bit in there. About half of my container. Strange noises that night. Man, that was freaky. Some creature just came up and touched my butt. Sitting here in the hammock tent, sleeping. Next thing you know, there was a hand paw on my butt, like a little raccoon. Well, it's 7 a.m. Hoping to beat the wind here on this Durgeon Bay or whatever it is. And I'll get breakfast, hopefully another hour and a half of uh, canoe and passes. Just, just trying to beat the wind. I took my... Uh, Filled this bag up with water down by the river using my Soye Mini. I squeezed out some uh, safe water in there. Egg packets in here. Seal it all up and shake it up. We let it sit for 10 minutes. And now we fry it up. And the finished product, it's edible. I just wouldn't write home to mom about this. Beautiful day out here on Woods Bay. I'm gonna go check out the Calhoun Lodge. So this area has apparently been restored to uh, match what life would have been like a hundred years ago here. So this place actually seems to be open right now. Kind of frightening. Very nice screened in porch. So this place is actually pretty freaky. This must be the upstairs. It's a tad hot up here. Apparently there's washrooms. Hello? Hello? 
They have the kitchen in a different area. View of the lake here at the Baker Trail. And that right over there is my campsite for the night. Well, that bridge looks safe. At least it's in better condition than the Rondo Pier. Hey, I'm in a wetland. I think I'm lost. This doesn't look like the Baker Homestead to me. Well, that's disappointing. They knocked the water tower down. Doesn't look like this place was deserted too long ago. Water tower, TV antenna, propane hookup. I'm gonna follow that warning. Last used in 2002, it looks like. <whistles> There's apparently a spare room in the basement. kitchen. Basement looks pretty sealed up. Upstairs bedroom. All right, I'm getting out of here. Taking an adventure through Betty's cabin. <whistles> nice tiny cabin. So here is site 501. Where I'll be staying for the night, overlooking Blackstone Harbor. Fire, grills, picnic table, ignore the mess. And a bit of a hike here to the food storage area, but at least that should secure me from bears. Food storage area. Toilet in the back. Canoeing the Blackstone Harbor Marsh right now. Beaver Dam. Here's where I've set up the tent for the night. Overlooking this beautiful area. Just having the uh, veggie breeder bowl here. Pretty tasty once again. Boil water, pour it in, wait a few minutes, eat. Well, I can't see it, but there's a beaver over there. This is beautiful. I saw the osprey over there. I saw a bear running. Still no fish, though. I can see one out there. You see that moving? Yeah, you do. Pretty much got the lake to myself, it seems. Let's hope he stops sometime tonight so I can go to sleep. I don't know if you can see it here. I was wondering if this is why I can't catch any fish. 
Too much algae. Just canoeing my way out of here. Nine o'clock, it's been a great uh, two day trip here at the Massasauga Park. Three days if you include our row. Saw a bear swimming, saw a bear running. Had a raccoon or something touch my butt. It's been a really good trip so far. I highly recommend this park, especially that Calhoun Lodge. And that thing was terrifying going alone. Watch way too many horror movies expecting a bear to come out or a zombie. Saw four beavers as well. Overall, very, very nice park. This has to have been one of the best camping trips I've ever been on. I was scared most of the time. I was pleased by all the nature. There is a lot of boat traffic out here and a lot of cottages. But you know, in the midweek of June, I pretty much seem to have Blackstone Lake to myself. Anyways, this is Nathan Prey, reporting for the Nathan Prey Nature Show.